Hi students, how are you all? Fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another important concept in number system. The another conversion. It is a very simple conversion. And we are going to see binary to octal and binary to hexadecimal conversion. This is very simple steps. Okay, it's not like the one which we did done, done before, like the octal decimal to any radix and any radix to a decimal okay you have a lot of steps involved in it but here the steps is very simple but you need to understand the logic behind each and every every conversion okay and we will start with binary to octal okay to convert a binary to octal this is the steps you have two steps involved okay first step is you need to find out the integer part and as well as the fractional part okay and then for integer part, you have to group the bits by 3, okay. And for fractional part, once again, you have to group the bits by 3. But here for integer part, you have to start from LSB. And for fractional part, you have to start from MSB. That is, for example, if this is given, if this number is given, you have to group the, this is the integer part and this is the fractional part, okay. So you have to group the integer part from LSP. This is the LSP. So I am grouping it here. Okay. So from LSP to MSP. And for fractional part, you have to start from MSP to LSP. Okay. And if there is any X, any number which is left, for example, if there is another number, right, what you have to do is you have to add two more zeros in it. That is the second step. So that we can make it as a 3 bit. Okay. And you have to understand why is that we are grouping into 3 bits. Okay. And you all know that the octal number starts from 0 to 7. And the octal base is 8. Okay. So any octal number from 0 to 7, it can be represented using this particular code 4, 2, 1. Okay. So which is, if, if I want to represent 4, it is 1, 0, 0. And I want to represent 2, it is 0, 1, 0. Like this. Okay. So any octal number, we can represent using this particular code, 4, 2, 1. So if you add all this 3, it will give you 7. Okay. And you can do it only up to 7. Okay. Even if it is 8, if, if any number is 8, okay. Right. For number 8, you cannot represent it here. Because it is only 7. Okay. So that is why for octal, it, it is very easy to use 4 to 1 code and you can represent any octal number using this 4 to 1 code. And that is why you are representing this code using 4 to 1. That is you are grouping it into 3 bits here because it has 3 bits. 4 to 1. Got it? Okay. And now we will see the problem. Okay. So you can see how to convert a binary to octal number. And this is the question given. And what we have to do is we have to group it into 3. Okay, you can see I am doing it here again from LSB it is 3 and again it is 3 here and 1 is left out so what I am doing is I am adding 2 zeros here. You can see here. Okay, and for fractional part what I am doing is I am doing it from MSB. Grouping it from MSB. Right, so it is 1 not 1 and again 1 is left out so I am adding zeros. Okay, this is step 1. Step 1. Okay. And step 2 is we have to find out the corresponding value, corresponding octal value for this binary. Okay. So how will we be able to do it? I, as I said, we have to use 4, 2, 1 code. So if it is 1, double 0, then only 4. Right. And if it is 1, 0, 1, it is 1, 0, 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So it is 5. 0, double 1. So it is 0, double 1. So it is 2 plus 1. Right. And similarly, it is 0, 0, 1, which means it, this is 0, and this is 0, and this is 1. So it is 1. Similarly, again, 0, 0, 1, it is 1. Okay. And you don't want to do anything with the decimal. All you have to write in the same way, right? 1, 1, 3, dot, 5, 4. Okay. And for writing the answer, you have to write for this binary, this is the equivalent octal number. Okay. And this is the steps you're going to see same here. Like this is the another binary number. I am going to convert into octal. I am grouping it into 3 and I am adding extra 0 here. Right. And I am grouping into 3 here and there is only 2 1. So I am adding another 1 here. 
and double one it is four two one so if it is double one zero it is four plus two six and if it is one zero one four plus one five and if it is zero zero one it is one so the answer is fifteen dot six eight okay this is how you got to convert a binary to octal okay and now we will see how to convert binary to hexadecimal everything is same 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 steps you have to write from lsb to msb for integer and for msb to lsb for uh, fractional part and if there is only one bit left you have to add extra zeros in it everything is same but only difference is instead of grouping into three bits you have to use four bits you have to group it in four why is that we have to group it in four because hexadecimal number can be represented using 8421 code as i said for octal you can use only 421 and for hexadecimal you have to represent from 1 to 15 right so we have to use 8421 code okay so what is 8421 code for example if you want to represent 15 it is 8 12 14 and 15 if everything is 1 then it is 15 okay and if i want to represent 12 it is 1 1 0 0 so it's only 8 and 4 is present okay like that and that is why for hexadecimal conversion you have to group it into 4 bits okay and now we'll see the problem and you can see this is the binary number given and we need to convert it to the hexadecimal okay so what we are doing is we are grouping it from 4 bits from lsb to msb 4 bits and you can see one is left out so i'm adding two zeros here okay and similarly that is you can add three zeros actually okay and similarly on the right hand side what you will do you'll add four four bit and you have zero and one so you'll add two more zeros okay and now you can use the eight four two one code eight four two one code to write the answer okay you can see here this is seven that is eight is zero and other things are one so it is seven and you can see it is one zero one double zero it is one zero one zero it is eight plus two ten so ten can be represented as a okay and similarly this is one and similarly if everything is one that is 15 okay and this is four and this is how you have to write the answer okay and similarly this problem once again you have to group it in four i'm grouping it in four okay and adding two extra zeros and at the right hand side once again i'm adding grouping it in four okay and now we need to convert this to the corresponding hexadecimal number and you can see it is eight and zero so it is ten and representing as sorry eight and two so it is ten so i'm representing as a and this is 8 and 1, that is 8, 4, 2, 1 code, I am converting it. 8, 4, 2, 1 code, okay. So, 9, and for this one, this it is 14, 8, 12, and 14. So, I am representing as E, and this is 6, and this is 3. And this is how you have to write the answer, okay. So, what we have seen is, we have seen how to convert binary to octal by grouping it into 3 bits, okay grouping into three bits and after that you have to write the corresponding octal number by using 421 code and for hexadecimal conversion what you have to do is you have to group it into four four bits and you have to use 8421 code and after grouping you have to find the corresponding hexadecimal value for it using 8421 code okay hope you understand the logic behind it okay thank you students thank you students thank you for watching Kandipa in the video on the Kalar, Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.